welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I thought for Keto Monday, I would bring you what I eat. I'm gonna probably do it over the weekend. Today's Friday, it is 11.45 and I'm hungry. So, since I still don't need to grocery shop, I thought I would bring you along as I prepare some meals. Oh, the hair. I'm still having a challenge doing my hair one-handed, but you know, we do what we gotta do. Um, this morning I had a cup of coffee and I had made some keto biscotti. So I had a, one piece of biscotti. They're chocolate chip and sea salt. I had one of these. They're pretty good, not quite dry enough. I should leave them out with the lid off is what I should do to let those harden up. And then I have a few more brownies left that I made the other day. But for breakfast this morning, I had a cup of coffee, I had a biscotti, and then I had to run out to Staples. So I did that. For lunch today, I'm going to have a hamburger that I made and um, some coleslaw that I have in the refrigerator. And these are like seasoned hamburger meat. And I'm using my new cast iron skillet that I bought. And we're gonna see how that works. This is the only metal spatula I have. Cause I've never really owned cast iron before. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna get out my coleslaw and get that on a plate. Yeah, I'll bring you along. We'll show you how I cook this. And you can see with me how this works cause I have no idea how to use cast iron. But we're gonna figure it out together. Let me change our angle and I will show you what I'm doing. All right, I'm getting my pan heated. I have my hamburger over here. I can stick it over there. Now, I don't know if you guys have, um, they're those uh, steak and shake. I love it. They smoosh out their burgers super thin and they get really, um, they get really crispy. So we're gonna try to do that. So we got a burger out here. I'm gonna make some iced coffee, which is actually cold brew. In here, I've got my sweetener and some caramel extract. I did the cold brew yesterday. And it's just a half a cup of coffee grounds and four cups of water. That's the ratio that I use. And then I got this picture at the Target Dollar Spot. It's out just brand new right now. And then I'll get some cream and ice while my hamburger is cooking. So put this away. I need a straw. So I wanna stir my sweetener and my caramel in. There we go. Just put a little heavy cream until it's the color you like. Perfect, and now I just need some ice. I don't know what else I do. I'm grabbing some cheese out of the fridge. Grab some cheese for my burger. I'm gonna cook all four of these burgers here today because um, they need to be eaten. Cold brew. Mmm. Delicious. It is a little um, chilly out today. I think it was a low of 39 
and a high of 60 today maybe. So that's not really good temperature wise, but what are we gonna do? All right, well, I'm gonna let this burger cook out and I will bring you back when I'm ready to eat it. And I did get the cheese out like I showed you for a cheeseburger for this one. I won't put, well, I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, we'll be back. All right, got my burger almost done. Put a little piece of cheese on top. Kind of just letting it do its thing on this burner. And I'm gonna stick over here another burger so I can get them going. And then, because I need to get them all cooked up since they're all defrosted. And that's plenty of room for two. I'll smush it down later. And then I'll probably have this for dinner tonight or lunch again tomorrow, but we will see. But, I'll show you my lunch today. There's my lunch, a hamburger, a little bit of coleslaw, and this is just mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, coriander, salt, pepper, and then a little bit of my sweetener. Mmm, delicious. So that's it for lunch. I'll see you at dinner. Hey friends. Alrighty, it's time for dinner. I wanted something easy tonight. So I'm having some hard boiled eggs, some olives, and then I'm cooking up some, it's called Troyer's Trail Bologna. Oh, it's so good. If you're not from this area, you're probably not, you know, familiar. It's like a summer sausage. It's made um, in Amish country by the locals. I grew up eating this. Oh, I love it. Now, traditionally as a child, we would take a Ritz cracker, or I'm sorry, a, um, yeah, Ritz cracker, a slice of trail bologna, a piece of cheese, a pickle, and mustard. Woo! That was delicious. But tonight I felt like heating it up just to get it warm because it's a little chilly outside yet today. Got a bunch of stuff done. Me and my one arm. But this is my keto dinner and I love this. Oh, I love trail bologna. And then to drink, I have some homemade iced tea with a little crystal light lemonade. Um, just for like a half and half or an Arnold Palmer. So this is Friday night dinner. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. I've got crazy hair, even though I did try to fix it. It's about eight o'clock. I'm gonna reheat my coffee. I've already had a cup of coffee and a biscotti that I made, but I'm kinda hungry. So I think I will get out some egg casserole that I made that was in my freezer. Here is that, and then I would think I'm gonna put with it my favorite, of all time favorites, is this Chipotle Cholula. I love this stuff. I like the regular as well, but I love the Chipotle. Got my downstairs area pretty clean over the last couple days. I've been watching power cleaning to get motivated. But what I really want to do, here's my egg casserole that I made, is I want to um, transplant my plants and go buy some, but it's too early yet. It was in the 30s last night, I think 39, too cold to put plants outside. And um, so I have to wait. And then I don't have, you know, obviously two functioning arms to transplant. I've got, and you've probably seen in my videos, a ton of um, potted plants by this back window gets the most sun in the winter time but I move them to the front bay window in the summer again I'm not moving them to that window until they're transplanted if that makes sense because um, I would need my niece to help me move the couch right now and she is actually coming today but not to help me she's got plans of her own and because it's still too early to um, really do any transplanting. 
I'm just gonna wait. I just wanted to do it while I was home, but I've got three more weeks. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, it warms up permanently and then I can start transplanting and I'll have more mobility with my arm or she'll help me. But I want to totally like repot all the plants in new planters, different sizes, group them together and then get them in the front window or the front porch. Uh, I cannot wait till I have two hands and can do my hair a little better. Today's outfit of the day, I just put on a long sleeved. I think the high today is 49, 59, 59 today and I have on a pair of shorts because I can't button still, which is not a good thing. Um, so I'm wearing elastic waisted shorts, <laughs> but you do what you gotta do. All right, so that's breakfast today and my one of my eating keto coffee and some eggs. I will chat with y'all later at lunchtime. What should we have? You decide. Bye. How about some lunch, guys? I'm gonna make a pizza. I took one of my crusts out of the freezer that I made pre pre made ahead, like you do when you're gonna be short an arm. So I've heated the oven to 350. But what I'm gonna do is switch on the broiler here in a minute. But I wanted it warm to warm it up. Now, pizza sauce can be kind of high in carbs, so I try to do like two tablespoons. The crust I got from my cooking, low carb cooking keto with Dr. Christy Sullivan book. It's called Keto. And then it freezes really well. All right. So. I put my sauce down. I put a little bit of parm because I like parm. You put what you like. I add a little salt because that sauce is pretty sweet. And then I put some cheese. And I just have a piece of foil to protect my sheet pan. Now the crust is made with cheese, so you don't need a whole ton of cheese on top. And then I'm going to put some pepperoni on it. Because that's what I'm in the mood for today. And then I put a little more parm just on top. Because I like parmesan. Now. I have the pan on the, the meat, you know, the middle where it belongs, but I'm going to turn on the broiler. So the oven is warm. It's going to warm up the pizza and the broiler is going to brown it. And then I let it do its thing. So we'll be right back. Pizza's done. So what I'm going to do, oh, there we go. Kind of stuck a little bit. I should have done this on parchment and not on foil, but you know, whatever. Okay. Next time we'll know better. So I had the oven heated, but then I put it on broil so the top will cook. And then I'm just gonna Cut it, let it cool a little more, and that's my lunch today. I know, exciting, huh? I also picked up at CVS this morning on clearance. It's Jelly Belly Tutti Fruity and Very Cherry Drink Mixes, sugar-free for vacation. And then during my lunch, I'm going to figure out how I'm supposed to care for this my new succulent. It's a... Echeveria. It's a four ounce succulent. I need to get it planted here, which I have all the supplies to do that. But yeah, first I'm going to have some lunch and watch some YouTube on how to care for my succulent. 
and then I'm going to do some cleaning because my house is a disaster. I did, however, go out today and got some paint chips. And I think I've decided on this color, light gray. It's called Olympus White. And... Oh, it's um, HGT, HGTV Color Gray. It's just a light gray, but I like the coolness of it. So we're going to go with that, I think, for my kitchen, dining room, living room. Because it all kind of rolls into one. All right, well, let's have lunch, and I will chat. And here is my tiny tot little grocery haul. I really didn't need too much, but I ran out of sweetener for my coffee. I was kind of wanting some strawberries. I was super excited for this find. I've never seen this at my Aldi. Uh, the almond flour at finally ground was $5.99 for a pound. That is a good price. So I grabbed one of those. Some shredded cheese because I'm not really in the position to be shredding right now. Some cheese, some sour cream, oh, sour cream, cream cheese. I've been really wanting some cheesecake bites, so I'm going to make those this week. Some eggs, some cream, and pork rinds. I mean, I did a really good job when I prepped for my surgery. I really knew that this was all the things I was going to need, and this was about $36. Uh, for breakfast today, I just had coffee and eggs, at my egg casserole, and it's not lunchtime yet. So yeah, this is what I got at the grocery. I'll be back with more What I Eat on Keto.